<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, I recently put out a video called The Stage is Set, where I talked about how California is potentially going to enact a curfew. Gentlemen, the dystopia has begun. Now, this article is hot off the presses because it was published on the 20th of November. Governor Newsom orders curfew for most California counties. I called it. I called it. Now, mind you, this is the same Governor Newsom who was caught less than two weeks ago breaking his own social distance guidelines. Yeah. Governor Gavin Newsom has ordered a curfew for all California counties in the purple tier amid climbing Charlie 19 cases. The curfew will affect 41 of the state's 58 counties and more than 94% of the state's population. Wow. Now, mind you, I actually got a piece of paper from work last night that said, yes, I am an essential worker for deliveries. Talk about where are your papers? Yep, it's begun. The curfew, which the state is calling a quote unquote limited stay at home order, stops short of a full lockdown. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You can't make this shit up. <laughs> Woo. It will be in effect from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. starting Saturday. The restrictions between those hours will be similar to the stay at home order that was in effect in March. That means all non-essential work, movement and gatherings will have to be stopped in purple, well, excuse me, will have to stop in all purple tier counties. Wow, just wow. <laughs> so the question, that immediately comes to my mind is how did we go from 15 days to quote unquote flatten the curve to an outright curfew? Now, mind you, the timing of this is all too convenient. Where were the calls for a curfew when all of the uh, leftist civil unrest was going on. Oh, for shame. See, right now would be a perfect time to defund the police. <laughs> oh, man. My maniacal laughter button is in overdrive. The curfew is set to remain in effect until December 21st at 5 a.m. It is November 21st now. As I asked before, flatten the curve 
was only meant to be 15 days. <laughs> wow. Wow. We're asking that as part of this targeted, limited stay at home order, that people are home by 10 and stay home until five. You know what that's called in the military? Taps, taps, lights out, maintain silence about the decks. <laughs> oh man, and guess what? We deserve all of this. Oh yeah, <laughs> we deserve it. <laughs> Woo! And oh yeah, oh yeah. My gut tells me that there will be some masks getting put on. Anyway, California Health and Human Services Secretary, Dr. Mark Galley said in a briefing Thursday afternoon. Galley went on to list several activities that are allowed during that overnight time frame. He said, for example, if you needed to make a late night grocery run or pick up takeout from a restaurant after 10 p.m., those activities were still allowed as those businesses are deemed essential. Sit down dining is not essential, however, and is affected by the new restrictions. People won't also be kept from physical activities like walking their dogs either. Okay. So how in the hell are they going to enforce this? Oh yeah, that's right. Good little sheeple. Mm-hmm. Stay at home for your own good. We're only trying to protect you from yourselves. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh man. I tell you. However, on socializing, Galley was clear. Gatherings shouldn't occur between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. We know that's hard to imagine how to enforce. Some of you may say, well, how am I ever going to be known if I'm doing that at home? We've depended on a partnership with all of you, and this is about coming together, i.e., we need you to snitch out your neighbor. Yeah, remember, I think it was Mayor Garcetti that said, yeah, you should snitch on your neighbors. Mm-hmm. Here we go. It seems the state may need to rely on people to self-police when it comes to the new restrictions. Several law enforcement agencies released statements Thursday with tepid support for the curfew. Really? Really? Oh yeah, the jackboots, they have to show support. <laughs> the city of Fresno said it was asking residents to voluntarily comply with the state's limited stay-at-home directive, but added that Fresno police would, quote unquote, concentrate on their regular responsibilities to serve and protect the people of Fresno. Um, scratch that. Don't you mean to serve and protect the wealthy of the state? Yeah. Newsome anyone. Rules for thee, but none for me. County Sheriff Margaret Mims. <sighs> <laughs> also said her office will not be enforcing the order. Wow, that's a shocker. We are not going to make criminals out of normally law-abiding citizens, she said. Well, I retract my previous bit of disdain. It would appear that this sheriff has more balls than a lot of other male enforcement officers out there. The Sacramento Sheriff said the department 
will not be determining, including entering any home or business with compliance or enforcing compliance of any health or emergency orders related to curfews, staying at home, Thanksgiving, or other social gatherings. My, it would seem that there are actually some people out there with massive balls and they're throwing up the middle finger to the establishment saying, fuck you, we're not gonna enforce these unlawful restrictions. Good on these two sheriffs, good on them. See, this is what more people need to aspire to have, this mentality. I'm not going to comply. I'm not going to peacefully comply, but don't push it. On Monday, 40 counties were moved into more restrictive tiers as the Charlie 19 virus cases continued to climb around the state. How convenient. Since we last heard from Newsom and Galley Monday, Charlie 19 cases have continued a steep climb in the state. More than 11,000 new cases were reported in California over the past 24 hours. Really? Reported from who? The highest number we've seen since the start of the fall surge. Another 106 people have died as a result of the virus, bringing the state's death toll to 18,466. You would think with numbers like that, that would be all over the media. However, with everything that went on in the past, we didn't really hear about these deaths. The state's testing positivity rate, which is the percentage of people who get a Charlie 19 test and turn back a positive result has gone from just 3.3 a few weeks ago to 5% this week. It feels like just a small difference between 3.3% to 5%, but it is a very significant difference, said Galley pointing out that jump represents a 52% increase in positivity. 52%. That number sounds eerily familiar. Oh, wait. That's right. When this thing first started, I remember Mr. Newsom saying that he expects over 50% of Californians will end up with this. But he never said when they would end up with these numbers. Here we go. Here we go. Hospitalizations have climbed even more. 64% over the past two weeks. Now, that is very ironic since I do a lot of hospital deliveries and I am not seeing these numbers. Most hospitals are going about their daily routine. The virus is spreading at a pace we haven't seen since the start of this pandemic and the next several days and weeks will be critical to stop the surge. We are sounding the alarm said Governor Newsom in a press release. It is crucial that we act to decrease transmission and slow hospitalizations before the death count surges. We've done it before and we must do it again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, I tell you. You can't make this up. Galley pointed to Los Angeles County as an area of particular concern where the number of new cases was around 1,500 a day on November 1st. That number was 3,742 
on Wednesday, a 140% increase. Man, they are really cranking out the fear factor. Madera County, north of Fresno, has seen a 460% increase in new cases. From 6 on November 1st to 34 Wednesday. One Southern California resident pushed back against the curfew. The fact that I don't get an option is what bothers me. If I want to be out, if it's a friend's birthday and I want to be out past 10, I want to have the opportunity to do so, said Kristen Jeraguay. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, but you know, it is what it is. Here we are, gentlemen. As I previously said, the dystopia has begun. Where are your papers, sir? Oh, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. However, just to throw a little bit more onto this, I was picking up my juice before making this video. So I stopped at a local gas station that I go to all the time. So me and the old guy, we, we talked about this pretty much from the beginning up to now. Now, some young libtard comes in and parachutes his way into the conversation. So he starts talking about, well, you know, every hundred years, there's always a massive blah, blah, blah. So we start looking at this guy and of course he starts talking the usual sheeple language. Well, don't you want to, you know, don't you believe in, you know, protecting yourself? Well, what do you believe in? Do you believe in God? I said, I walked away from religion a long time ago. I am a logical thinker. Well, okay. Well, what's your stance on it? Well, this is all one big power uh, grab. And, you know, I, at this point, I say, let it all burn. Let the collapse happen. Well, the collapse is not going to happen. <laughs> I say, well, you know what? It is going to happen. It's going to be a social collapse. An economic collapse is definitely on the horizon. But as it turns right now, it's going to be a social collapse because people don't really come together like this. Well, no, this is what it's all about. It's about coming together, you know? You know, I said, okay, I'm gonna end this with a question. Since we wanna talk about viruses and, you know, every hundred years there's some sort of plague or pandemic, what has a 100% confirmed death rate? Now, mind you, when I ask these libtards this question, I always get the same deer in the headlights look when I give them the answer. So he was sitting there trying to think about it. It's like, well, um, 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 I don't know. I said, life, idiot. Life has a 100% death rate. It does not matter how you go, but eventually we're all gonna meet the Reaper, okay? You could get hit by a car. You could fall dead of an aneurysm right now. Somebody could decide they want to take your money and put, put a cap in your ass. Hell, you could get killed by a random pack of wild pit bulls. It does not matter. So it was like, well, you know, uh, well, well, you know, uh, 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 well, well, you know, uh, uh, stupidity could act. And I say, okay. You want to you want to really go this far? Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, Steve Jobs, all three geniuses. But guess what? All three what? Dead. You've lost the argument. Now, please, we're going to get back to talking. So at that point, me and the cashier were like, you see, these are the types of bootlickers that are the reason why we're in this situation right now. 
Even when you present people like this facts, it's all about emotion to them. Well, the government's trying to protect us from ourselves. No, 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 no. This is all about fear, power, and control. And people like you are the ones who vote people like Newsom into office. Hey, it is what it is. So now, guess what? You've got what you wanted. Prepare to get bent over. But gentlemen, as I said in my video, the stage is set. Keep your head on the swivel. Prepare. Because trust and believe this is coming to your city and state. Well, with that being said, <laughs> my gut still tells me, as I stated earlier, this is definitely the potential for some people to put on some hockey masks. <laughs> Ladies, the power is definitely metaphorically out now. Feminism and all of those false illusions of protection that you think you have are going to go out right along with it. <laughs> so this would not be the time to disrespect your man. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am...